Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar Claws, and this is my girlfriend, Melissa. Hello. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Yeah, of course. Oh, she, she thinks the beard thing is hilarious, and I, I enjoy it too. It's just kind of hard to be, exist. It's kinda, yeah, it's kind of hard to do stuff, man. Um, but uh, yeah, welcome to another Christmas episode of Bear <laughs> Um, we are trying today some, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers the Halloween episodes where we tried the Russell Stover chocolates. I think I posted those already. Um, I think, you did. I'm not sure. I, I, think I think those were some of the first I posted, but, um, we are trying some more Russell Stover chocolates. These are Christmas themed and some of our, um, we have five of them. yep, which yeah. I think we had five for Halloween too, we have gingerbread. which I'm looking forward to. Like I'm interested in that one. We have dark we have the dark chocolate Santa with peppermint cream. <laughs> Which is going to be more Melissa's thing, because I don't like mint-flavored stuff that much. But Dark chocolate Santa, or sorry, milk chocolate Santa, <laughs> pecan or pecan chocolate Santa, peanut butter delight. And I tend to like pecan stuff, so that'll probably be good for me. We have a dark chocolate and maple cream Santa. Which, that sounds amazing. And we have a milk chocolate and which sounds even more amazing. <laughs> so, let's go order what I think. I'll just go order what I think will be the most amazing. Okay. I think that the Russell Stover chocolate is going to be amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to order I'm going to have to agree with that. But I'll let you get first bite since I have Santa beard on. Smells like a junior mint or York peppermint patty. Yep, that smells like a York peppermint patty. Russell Stover is good quality chocolate. Um, and they say they're Santas, but they're just blobs of chocolate, so yeah, I don't that, expect a Santa Claus because you'll be disappointed. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, it actually does say Santa, but it has no... Like, it's not even, like, stamped with a Santa Claus face. How's that... I like those. Mm. It's a little messy. Mm. Pop it back in. It's very um. <coughs> oh goodness. It's really good. Let Santa Claus grab his soda real quick. You want to talk about it at the end? Um. Let, let, let's do individual ones and then we'll give give like our favorites at the end. That was good. Um, the chocolate's really tasty. And the cream in the middle is actually quite creamy and soft, which is nice. And um, it's a good peppermint flavor. I liked it. It was, it was all balanced very well flavor-wise. I for for a peppermint flavored product, I like that pretty well because the pe like she said, the peppermint uh, cream in the middle is very light, which is nice. I like that, um, yeah. and it kind of it kind of crumbles and falls apart, and it's a very pleasant texture. Yes. Um, chocolate's good, and for for peppermint cream, the peppermint cream is good. I just don't like peppermint cream that much, <laughs> um, so I'd give that a six. I'd say that's on the high end of like peppermint or mint flavored stuff that I've tried. It's just I that's not my flavor. Yeah, I like it. Um I also agree with the six only because um I like peppermint as well, but it's not any it's not more spectacular than other peppermint chocolate combo stuff I've tasted. So um I think a six is good. It's it's above average. Um I'd recommend it if you like peppermint and chocolate. Um the texture is quite nice and it's it's a good taste and I think these are, I think I got them for 50 cents a piece. I think they're only a dollar. Which, which that's, still that's not, not bad. bad for yeah. a specialty item. And it's good quality stuff. The chocolate's really tasty and the stuff inside of it's good. I mean, it's not cheap quality. So No, not at all. Um, so yeah, I still recommend it. Six for me. <laughs> next one? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, well, she's cracking over the next one. I, I, uh. I forgot to say whether or not I recommended that. I do. Uh, if, if that's your if that's your flavor, that's a very. I feel that's a very strong contender in the peppermint flavored stuff division. So. This one is the pecan delight. It's Which is Santa. It's also just a chocolate. Blob. It's a blob o chocolate. 
That one looks like it might have caramel or something in it. Mm -hmm. Looks actually it looks kind of really good. Yeah, it has a lot of filling in it. Going down under the beard here. Oh good. <laughs> oh Lord. I got the thing for you to pop it into unless you want more. Mm. Well, want some chocolate? <laughs> it exploded. <laughs> um, oh gracious! <laughs> Hope it doesn't get all over my shirt. Yeah. Uh, Just kind of do the thing where you flick your shirt out a little, dust it. Yeah. There we go. That was good. That's um, good. It was good, though it did blow up. It did. It seems like these are all very delicate. Everything we've been into so far has or like exploded chocolate at us. Yeah. <laughs> um it was good though, I liked it. Uh again, I, I think but it wasn't really anything special. I actually I just recently had a pecan like caramel chocolate that was better than that. It was one of the like Hershey's pot of gold. And those are really good. If you can get your hands on those, uh, those are really good pecan caramel kind of little things. Um that's not bad though. Six out of ten. I again re I, I'd recommend that for like a buck, um, especially if you if you like uh, pecans. Um, pretty good pecan flavor to it. Caramel, and caramel wasn't bad, you no, know. So. It was milk chocolate. It, it, all, it blended well together. Good, good quality, just not amazing quality. You recommend it? I'd recommend it. I would give it a 5 out of 10. It's pretty average, um, not anything special. Those aren't my absolute favorite kind of candies to begin with, so I'd say 5 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> I recommend it. And uh, I don't think it's a ripoff for a dollar. It's no. still good quality and, and, you know, nice and full of, of caramel pecans, so. Readjusting. <laughs> yeah, the couch was on my foot. Oh, that's good. <laughs> all right, next one. It's all right. I only need one foot. This is our dark chocolate and maple cream. <laughs> Are you making love with your eyes? I, I, I'm, I'm doing. Yeah, I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish I could. Here we go. I'll, I'll smile at you from down here. Hi, audience. <laughs> hey guys. Merry Christmas. So this will be posted well into January. You really don't know if you posted all of our Halloween episodes. No, nope, there's still Halloween <laughs> content left to post. I just my hard drive died, and then there was work, and all sorts of awful stuff happened. That looks good. Oh, man. <laughs> is it tasty? It looks really good. It, it is stuffed with filling. I'm just going to... Melissa, would you hold my beard for me? Thank you. <clears throat> I wanted to have a hand under it. Um, in case it fell to pieces again, I got, I'm wearing my, my, uh, Micro Bear Gourmet shirt, which, oh, uh, on the is there? Oh, yeah, see? Oh, jeez. Or someone pooped on it. <laughs> Lanny! <laughs> it's probably chocolate. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want to get chocolate on my, my lovely shirt that, uh, Melissa got me for Christmas, which <laughs> is my new show shirt. Um, so, which means I'll be retiring old show shirt. <laughs> It'll have a uh, 21 gun salute, and uh, and then I'll probably wear it as just a regular t-shirt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's really tasty. Um, yeah, I'm I'm actually I'm gonna give that an eight. Wow. Um, it was intensely good. Uh, like I know I've said intensely a lot today, but it was it was very very tasty. Um, I just love. It's got. It's got an initial kick, and it's got a really good aftertaste, and especially if those are only a dollar, like, that's a really high-quality chocolate. They're chock full of that filling. Yeah. They did not that, yeah, change there. They did not skimp at all. So, yeah, I get, that is an 8 out of 10, and I, I highly recommend if you can find the, yeah, that was the maple, uh, maple filling Russell Stover Christmas chocolate, and I, I'm sure they have them for Halloween and... 
You could probably get them regularly all year, too. Yeah, I think they have them all year. I don't know if they have all the same flavors, but... That was good. I would not give it an 8. Um, I would give it... A six and six. <laughs> a six. It was good, and it was above average, but the maple flavor wasn't particularly strong for me. I got more chocolate than I did maple. Oh, see, I got a butt ton of maple. Yeah. Um. And you know, again, it's good quality, and like they, the the filling was really creamy, and the chocolate was really delicious, and um, it's really good, and I would recommend it even at full price. But I just, it wasn't anything wonderful, and I don't know if I. We're eating. If I were gonna eat a bunch of candy, I don't know if that would even make it. Oh yeah, that that would top. that would be in my box. So, <laughs> so yeah, next one. All right. Gingerbread. Would you? I, I don't think you gave that a recommendation. Would you recommend oh, that? I still recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just less strongly than I would. Less strongly than you would. Yeah, I have very strong recommendation for me. Go out and get one. Makes it very good. And this is a gingerbread one coming up, which. I'm interested to see if they can bring gingerbread across in chocolate filling. Mm. And Melissa looks like she's confused. You wanna? Could you do me a favor and hold my beard to my face? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that one's not very crumbly. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. They really did get the gingerbread flavor in there. They did. And that's that's I, I give that an eight out of ten again. Oh man, that's, I totally agree. Yeah, that's that's almost that's really, a nine. I'm on the cusp. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Close to a nine, not quite, but really, really tasty. Yeah, Russell Stover gingerbread chocolate. Um, it's good. It's not creamy. The filling is kind of hard, which is what you'd a little bit harder. It, it's still it's very not, soft. It's not. Yeah, it's it's. It's just more compact, I think, would be. Um, but it's good. That's what you'd expect. A gingerbread, I wouldn't want something really light. I'd want a little, something a little bit a little bit denser in texture. Um, yeah, the gingerbread flavor is good. It melds really well with the chocolate. It's kind of like a nice, warm, spicy, chocolatey, gingery. It's good. Yeah, it's That's really... That's almost a nine. <laughs> it's, it's quite good. And I would highly recommend that, even even at full price. Even at twice the full price, yeah. I would still buy it. Yeah, no, that's excellent. I, I highly recommend that if you can find it. Um, again, they ca like Moses said, they captured the gingerbread. The gingerbread. The gingerbread. <laughs> it sounds like a horror movie. The, well, there is a horror movie called The Ginger Dead Man. I know, but the gingerbread. <laughs> the gingerbread massacre. <laughs> they, they, uh, they captured the gingerbread flavor very well. They and did. It's just super tasty. Yeah, go definitely go get one. Highly recommend it. Let's go get ten. <laughs> and what's, cookie dough. Cookie dough, okay. Now this is gonna be the deal breaker for me, because I love cookie dough so much, and if this is a good authentic cookie dough flavor, this looks like she's in in heaven right now. <laughs> it yeah. even looks like cookie dough. Let me into, all right. Let me get him. Let me get him a shot. Of, I I forgot to show them a shot of the gingerbread one, but oh my goodness! It does look like there's cookie dough in it. It tastes like cookie dough. That's our chocolate covered cookie dough. It's really cookie dough flavor for me at least. <laughs> for him too. <laughs> Your beard explodes. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh They did good. They done good on that one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say um for cookie dough, I actually that's good. It's very tasty, and they did capture the flavor of cookie dough quite well. But for me personally, I prefer cookie dough ice cream or cookie dough just by itself. So uh, that's that's the same rating as the other two. That is an eight out of ten, um, and uh, and it was good. I liked it, but yeah, it's it's just an eight out of ten. Um, not not a, I'm not gonna bump that up to a nine or a ten. Uh, I do definitely recommend it, though. It's a good cookie dough flavor. What you could probably do is get some of those, crumple them up, and put them in some ice cream. Yeah. 
And then that would be real good. But yeah, 8 out of 10 for the Russell Stover cookie dough. And... Or crumple them up and bake them into cookies. That'd be interesting. Double cookie dough cookies? Like cookie dough chocolate chips. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. 8. Um, I agree it's an 8. And, I, and I'm not on the cusp of 9 on that one. I like the, the gingerbread one. It's a little higher up for me. Yeah. Um, but it does have a good cookie dough flavor. It has that kind of sweet, salty, even like gritty. Like it still has the sugar and the butter batter yeah. mixed in with it. I, I, mean, I got that too. I like I like that. It's yeah. like authentic, It was pretty authentically cookie dough-ish for me. Um, and covered in chocolate. It just tasted like cookie dough with like extra chocolate chips in it, basically. Mm -hmm. Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, I'd recommend it. Absolutely. Do you um, want to rate them? Yeah, all right. Let me let me get into ah, let me get into regular. Oh man, my hair looks terrible. <laughs> I'll fix it. She likes it when my hair is all messed up. Um, <laughs> and I have beard hair in my mouth. Inauthentic beard hair. Santa beard. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, my. We got this uh, the other day at um, Walgreens. At Walgreens, yeah, and it was like three dollars down from like initially down from ten and then down again from five. So it was like three bucks, which that's a really good price for that Santa outfit, even though you can't really breathe while you're wearing. It. No, but we, you know we were trying to find him a beard and a hat, but that ended up being a combo, which was nice. Yeah. Oh. So. Um, Do you want? You you can go for it. Okay. You, you give your. That's I don't know if we'll agree fully, but... Uh, I don't um, know if we'll agree fully, but I think we'll be close. Top to bottom or, or bottom to top? Uh, give them bottom to top. Okay, good. Bottom. The peppermint. I'm surprised, too, because you really like minty stuff. I do, but that other stuff was better. I agree. <laughs> same same for me. Bottom the was better. The second from the bottom was the maple for me. Okay, see, I like the maple quite a bit. The third is the pecan, which I think were identical, except those are reversed, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I prefer, I, my second, uh, my second from the bottom would be the uh, pecan. And then the maple. And then the maple. And then the cookie dough. Yep. And then the gingerbread was the best. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we're in agreement, gingerbread was the best. They were all, they were all eight, like, the last three were eights, but that was the higher of the eights, like, that was the Almost closest. A nine. To, yeah, the yeah. gingerbread one, um... And it was it was it was a lovely tender like it was just really good. Was, I, I liked it a lot. It so that was and I liked that it wasn't all crumbly and messy. Like it didn't fall apart. That was nice too. Uh, yeah, yeah. When the other ones blew up and right. <laughs> so yeah, I still recommend all of them though. None of them were gross. No, they were all they like just, some of them were better than others. But... Ru Russell Stover always makes good quality yeah. chocolates. Like I've never been disappointed. I don't think. No, I wasn't disappointed so by any of them, and I'd recommend all of them, but. That's the order I'd recommend them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, especially the the gingerbread one. Like I, I go out and find that one if you can. The uh, and the the cookie dough and the and the uh, maple for me were really good too. Yeah. Um. And for me, I'd say if you're really gonna hunt for them, gingerbread and cookie dough are the top two. The other ones, really, you could take yeah. it or leave it. You could buy other candies like it. In my yeah, opinion. I mean, I mean, I guess the maple cream might be harder, but it's hard to. I, I don't even know off the top of my head that there is another like chocolate covered gingerbread thing. No, and there are. <laughs> I think there are like chocolate covered cookie dough bites. And that's a thing. And yeah, no, th those you can exist. Make cookie dough, but yeah, the yeah. chocolate gingerbread. I've never seen that combo before. And it was good. Um, it was really good. Didn't disappoint. <laughs> So, yep. So I think uh, I think that is uh, that is it for this was almost a twenty minute episode, but it was a compilation episode of five different items. That's so. true. Um, and that'll do us for miscellaneous. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna say that'll do us for our Christmas stuff. Um, yep. We didn't we didn't have that many Christmas items. We have uh, some. Um, we have some non-Christmas stuff. We have a couple of micro bear gourmets to film. We have some different bear selenius stuff to film. But we didn't get a lot for Christmas this year because just no. a lot of the Christmas stuff is just repackaged versions of the Halloween stuff that we already did. And Christmas isn't really a candy holiday. Like Halloween was, you kind of have to go. Like there's a lot of discount candy to sort there after. Uh, Halloween, um, Valentine, Valentine's Day, and Easter are the, are the candy holidays. Easter, um, I'm hoping we can do a big Easter thing next year. Yeah, Christmas wasn't really really this year it's already 2015 well yeah <laughs> yeah next year this year in the coming year 
Yeah, Christmas, but yeah, Christmas wasn't, I mean, I, I scoured the Christmas section, and yeah, mostly it's just Christmas, it's mostly just regular candies that are like M&Ms or Reese's, that are packaged Christ- in Christmas packaging. Yeah. They're Christmas colored, or they're Santa shaped, yeah. or whatever. But... Or it's candy canes, a lot right. of different kinds of candy canes. Yeah, so... um, and maybe one year we'll do like, like, because the, there are like Skittles candy canes and Smarties candy canes. There are Warhead candy canes. Like, Chocolate candy canes. Maybe one day we'll go through and do like... Crazy candy cane spectacular. Yeah, can, yeah, we'll have a candy cane Christmas next year. We'll get all the candy canes and see if we can do something like that. But, so, yeah. So, but, uh, but yeah, that'll do us for this uh, this episode of Bear Salanius and our Christmas content for this year. Thank you guys. So much for joining us. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, whatever it is you guys are up to over there. Well, that I hope you had a Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday yeah. because this will be posted in January or February. And we're not. It's not even Christmas now. It's already no. January. So yeah, no, yeah, we're fil- we're filming this on January third. Ha- happy New Year, also. Um, <laughs> And, and potentially uh, happy Valentine's Day, dip- President's Day, <laughs> uh, Martin Luther King Day, May- Groundhog Day. <laughs> Maybe Valentine's Day, depending on when this all goes out. But hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll be through with backlog by then, so we can post. Happy Valentine's. birthdays to anyone who has birthdays. <laughs> Which, yeah. Yeah, happy birthday to, uh, I have a birthday in January. So do I. <laughs> um, she has a birthday in January, so... Um, happy birthday also to anyone else who has a birthday in January. Or potentially February. February. I'm trying to cover all the holidays in case it gets posted <laughs> in February. Happy, happy everything to everybody. <laughs> um, Nailed it. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas from, uh, from, from everyone here at the Micro Bear Gourmet, all two of us, <laughs> to, uh, to all you folks out there and, Hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Bye!